My name is Faye Cofield. I've been a resident of Stonecrest for 20 years, and I am totally disgusted by what I'm seeing. And I, ha I, I have some problems with a lot of this that's going on. We have, we have a city that was promised one thing, and like the signs of the opposition said, it was all a trick. We are now expected to pay our mayor $85,000 a year. Now, what we need to look at is what the other cities make. I gave each one of you a copy of the Georgia study on what mayors make. The mayor in Brookhaven makes $16,000. Decatur, $6,400. Dunwood, which we compared ourselves to, $16,000. Johns Creek, $25,000. Peachtree Corners, $9,000. Now, I need to know what you guys are going to do that is so much greater than that. Because the last time I looked, we don't even have a sign out here to let people know they enter Stonecrest. We do not have a zip code, and since we don't have a zip code, we can't be a city. We can't change, you keep using my phone as zip code for our city. Now, it might seem fair to you that the mayor gets $85,000, but I'm like this. I travel, and I look at what does it take for a mayor to run a city. And to say that he's going to get $85,000, you've got to show me something. Each one of you, when you ran, you promised that you had people that were ready, willing, and able to hit the ground running and bring businesses here. So far, the only business I've seen has been a, a boat angles and a uh, 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 Fletcher. Now, the things that Mr. Allen is building, those are private businesses that aren't going to impact us. So here's what I've got to say. If you are dissatisfied with the salary, the jobs, and responsibilities, you need to resign. Every day, we have Congress people, federal people who leave their job. We've had congressmen that have resigned this season. We've had senators that have resigned this season. We've had other people sign this season. You signed up for a job. This city is less than a year old, and you got the nerve to fix your face, to come back, and to ask for a raise. You're wrong. You know you're wrong. And I will stand up by saying this. If you go to taxpayers and you ask that kind of money, when you know that people here can't afford it, you knew the spots was coming. That's why you want this spots money, so you can increase the salaries and benefit your paper. Your paper, don't forget, some of you are coming up for election, and we will remember this. Don't forget, we got a recall section in our Constitution. And don't forget, we ain't playing. <laughs> We are Larry and Thompson Lewis. I am Marvel Lee, resident 30 years at 3507 Hunts Place Drive, Stonehurst, Georgia. I am here today to speak about some of the possible changes being recommended to the new charter. First of all, I agree with the original charter. The original charter called for a full-time mayor at salary of $75,000. Now, I have been here in Stonecrest for 30 years, but I have not been here sitting home and doing everything else. I have been involved in this community. And if you are involved in your community, then you will not be sitting here wondering why the mayor needs $85,000 a year. It is a commitment of the town. I see these people all the time running from meeting to meeting. How many of you have asked them to attend numerous homeowners association meetings and other meetings that you are having at your church and other places? They have families. They pay the same thing for gasoline that we pay. They pay the same thing for grocery that we pay. Could you live on $20,000? Because you don't have enough time to run this city and work another job. And this is foolishness. We are here because nobody has cared enough about our community in the past. Nobody. Not even our commissioners. That's why I changed the supporting account of, of, of the, the city. Because our commissioners don't care about us. They have not done anything to this area of the county. 
not our state representatives. They don't care. They don't even bother to show up. Not even our government. So, we have stone <coughs> as our seat that we as local people can run our city. And we can't do it sitting home and not being engaged and involved. Now, my recommendation for salary is to go back to the original uh, charter of $75,000 for a full-time man. We don't have the infrastructure in place here. We don't have the surrounding businesses that Dunwoody inherited when they became a city. We don't have any of the uh, infrastructure. We have to. We have to. We have to. Built from the ground up. Unlike Dunwoody, 
and to some extent Brookhaven, Stonecrest was not pre-built by DeKalb County. In fact, it was because of this relative neglect and indifference to our development that we endeavored to become a city in the first place, understanding that we need to do this work ourselves. Therefore, in this case, a mayor of Stonecrest must do more than simply take over administration of work already done, systems already in place, and infrastructure already built. This mayorship requires executive talent with a full-time commitment. Comparisons to other cities and what per capita income is in those cities is largely irrelevant. So now, when it comes to compensation, what are we really asking for when we demand that public servants make little or nothing for full-time commitment of their time and energy? When we say that we want people to commit all of the time, energy, and talent necessary to do a job, but refuse to acknowledge that the job requires no less than all of their available time, and then refuse to reasonably compensate them according to what is required to effectively do the job, then what are we really asking for? In my opinion, what you will eventually wind up with is a small group of types of people, the wealthy, who can afford to give away uncompensated time, but rarely understand the struggles and needs of everyday people. Just look at the latest federal tax proposal, as far as that's concerned. Are people already of a mindset to make side deals and to sell out to lobbyists and campaign contributors because that's who pays their mortgage and that's who keeps their kids in school? Just look at the real corruption cases that are already out there. Or what about those who will walk in ready to do the job and make the sacrifice, but can't sustain it because the demand is too much. And then still others who choose just not to endeavor to do the job and make the sacrifice at all because the cost is too high. What this proposal considers is to provide a reasonable living wage to a position that demands a full-time commitment of executive level talent. Legislators are different. They can be part-time. Legislators, st legislators study the issues, the legislation on the table, they deliberate and they vote. All their energy spent on public engagement is at their own discretion. We need this salary as a deterrent to corruption. I ask that you support it and the changes in the charter. Thank you. I the mayor and the council. My concern is twofold. Listen, uh, I think I think a lot of the decisions are focused on the line. And I say that because I believe that the mayor and the council has told us or is communicating on the what. If you can explain the what, you eliminate the what. I'm not sold, I'm not convinced that $85,000 is enough. That's not even efficient for me. It could be $100,000 for you to explain the what. And so what I'm hearing here is I don't understand the what. We need to find a common ground, a find a common message, and everybody needs to evangelize the what. And we can eliminate a lot of noise that we're hearing because everybody is stuck on the what. And most people are stuck on the what as why 85,000? And my role, my job is evaluation time. That's the time you need to brag on yourself. Because the stuff you did in the beginning of the year, I forgot. So there's a time to brag on yourself. I haven't heard this council or this mayor brag on yourself. And I don't have a problem with bragging on yourself, explaining the what, explain the vision of what you want the city to be. And many of the constituents, constituents will understand the model. So that's my challenge. My challenge is improve the communication. Improve the communications of all constituents. I don't need to hear a different story from a different customer. I need to hear a consistent message. I talked to the communication director this morning about how do we evangelize the message for Stonecrest. So it doesn't matter if somebody misspoke something here. We got the same message as we go back to the website, which is some common ground. There's too many opinions. And most of those opinions are driven on the why. And that why is, why does our mayor need 85 dollars Not a whole lot of money if you think about it. 
But it's a whole lot of money if you can't explain the what. <laughs> So that if I'm not off, and I can't make the meetings, if it's recorded, I understand the way. I don't have to rely on my neighbors, my councilmen. I have a resource where I can understand the way. In this quote, I go back to the what. The what stays the same. It's the gospel. The gospel doesn't change. So create a gospel. Create the message. And so that we can all go back to the source. And that's why I ask our mayor and the council. I'm not opposed or against, but I need to understand the what. And I think if you do a better job of explaining the what, you eliminate all the whys that you're hearing today. Create your vision, make a plan. Share a vision. Vision don't change, baby. Right? Stay the same. They'll manage, uh, give us paperwork, you can't break that through. And therefore, you know, we support the marriage raise. The only thing I say is that in less than six months, the mayor has accomplished more than the city than the Kent County has done in the last 10 years. Right. Uh, give us paperwork, you can't break that through. And therefore, you know, we support the marriage raise. The only thing I say is that in less than six months, the mayor has accomplished more than the city than the Kent County has done in the last 10 years. Right. And, and we're going to keep on going. I don't want them to be having to go down to Arizona and bust tables and pick this. Thank you. I don't want them to go to the city. Uh, we're tearing down the hotel. Uh, we've got all kinds of exposure. You know, the mayor will be up for election in a couple of years. He hasn't earned his pay for that other man. But it keeps going like it's going. Uh, he'll earn that and should earn more. That's, that's our